Some folks in the valley without power seeking shelter to stay warm. The American Red Cross has set up emergency shelters throughout the Wabash Valley. News 10's Amanda Jarrett talks with folks staying at Terre Haute North Vigo High School about how this historic weather event is bringing a community together. Bedding mats and cots ready for those needing shelter. By noon, nearly 40 people without power were already checked in. Oh, it's not like people that just got their power shut down. These people have been two or three days without power. The Red Cross is expecting even more people in need of a warm bed as temperatures are expected to dip to the single digits. They have kits on standby for more than 80 people. But the crippling weather is making it difficult for some to even get to the shelter. That's why James Cochran, just a man wanting to help, started transporting people to the shelter on his own. Be out there and help the people like we need to do. That's part of that's what we're supposed to do is love one another. For those without power and without a ride, you're in luck. James says he's got an offer for anyone in the Wabash Valley. Anybody that needs a ride, I'll be happy to give them a ride, you know, and uh, just get them here where it's warm and safe. Hawkins says in a time like this, when folks are forced from their home, battling devastating weather, people are truly pulling together. Hoods and communities are pulling together, and we as the Red Cross are here to try to help in any way that we can. And the shelters will remain open as long as they're needed. In Terre Haute with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Amanda Jarrett, News 10. Now, if you would like to contact James for a ride to a shelter, you can call him. That number's at the bottom of your screen, 264-7648. Here's a look at some other shelters in the area, 700 South 3rd Street. Again, Terre Haute North Vigo High School, North Putnam High School, and the Brazil Armory. Plus, you can check out a full list of shelters in the valley at WTHITV.com.